is ethics dead? Or are the ethicists blatantly corrupt or glaringly incompetent? In ethics, we should question the intent because we have control over intent and we can examine intent and we can judge intent. I do not want any child to know anything about crucifixion. That is a reasonable request in a democracy to protect our children from violent images masquerading as religious symbols. Crucifixion merchants put an image of a man nailed to a cross into children's minds. What is the effect on their minds? Do you honestly think it has a good and beneficial effect on a child to be learn about crucifixion and the suffering, their so-called passion of Jesus on the cross of a man being nailed to a cross. Every child knows what it's like to be trapped, but to be nailed to a cross can only disturb a child's mind. Now surely this is unethical. Now why are the ethicists silent? Or are they in the pay of these psychopathic dictators running the institutions that taught them? Put in an image of a man nailed to a cross into children's minds is unethical and must be stopped. Must be stopped. They're traumatizing our children to freak them out, to disturb them, and it got to be stopped. These same crucifixion merchants are telling our children that we are sinners. What is the effect of this on our families? Is it a good and beneficial effect for our children to be told that their parents are sinners? The crucifixion merchants have an evil intent to break up our families. Why are the ethicists silent? Are they in league with these devil worshippers, shoving dead Jesus down our throats and drinking blood and washing in the holy blood and all the rest of it is Satanism. It's Satanism, a human sacrifice and blood drinking, and it's been put in our children's minds, and it's got to be stopped. Anyone calling himself father is abusing children. It has got to be stopped. People shouldn't be allowed to call themselves father. People shouldn't be allowed to preach crucifixion to children shouldn't be allowed. Telling children that their parents are sinners shouldn't be allowed. Now why are the ethicists silent? Is it some political correctness that Christianity is a do-good religion and it blatantly isn't? It's an, got an evil intent in all its doctrines to destroy human community and this is what it's guilty of all around the planet, destroying human tribes. Imperialism. Why are the ethicists silent? Look at the drones. The drones are psychopathic. The use of drones is psychopathic. You cannot just willy-nilly, you know, destroy, kill one person and then just say, oh, this is the other one is collateral damage, friendly fire. It is bloody murder. It is psychopathic. America and Britain backing this is psychopathic. The use of depleted uranium is psychopathic. Look at the blood defects in Iraq. Psychopathic. And the ethicists are silent. Why are they silent? Corruption or incompetence. What is it? Completely silent. Then we come down to World War I, which they're now celebrating or commemorating. The officers sent the working class volunteers over the top at gunpoint into live enemy machine gun fire. Is that a tactic of war or deliberate murder? Deliberate murder. The World War I was a staged family feud by this royal family. 
between Russia and Germany and England, a staged family feud to set up a, a world war, to stop a generation, to kill off a generation of our finest young men, to send them onto the killing fields. There was no World War I. It was a, the trenches were a killing field, worse than Pol Pot, at the hands of this royal family. The, World War I was mass bloody murder by this psychopathic royal family. No doubt about it. Sending men over the top into live fire is murder. Why are the agencies silent? Why are they calling them war heroes and celebrating, commemorating this World War I, which is an atrocity, a crime by this royal family? Look at the cannabis laws. Look how they leave Nigella Lawson and her class alone. This is just another class war on the youth, on the poor youth, stopping and searching them and stealing their expensive cannabis. Most of them are cautioned, but they still take the cannabis off them. And some are selectively charged according to the whim and bullying of the police. Now these police thugs are also forcing fracking on the communities. Now is fracking poisoning our wells, polluting our groundwater? Is that ethical? Why are the ethicists silent? Are they incompetent or corrupt? Or is ethics dead?